Hi hey folks, uh, Kevin here again. I managed to bring everything with me on this journey except my GoPro camera. So I'm filming these clips on my phone. So uh, yeah, the quality won't be as good as it normally is. So I hope you'll bear with me. I'm in a place today called Eikniemi Nature Trail. It's a five kilometer circular trail and it has a lavu or lean-to shelter about halfway. Also a um, a lookout tower. So the plan tonight is to hike in, sit up in the lava tonight. I have my Durston tent with just in case if there's anybody there and uh, yeah chill out for the evening. The landscape here is absolutely fantastic. It looks actually quite like Lapland with the snow covering the pine trees but um, yeah it is approximately quarter past three, twenty past three in the afternoon and the sun will be setting in approximately 15 minutes so I'm losing the light so I think there you can see the, the sun has already dropped below the horizon but uh, yeah nice to be here and uh, really nice to uh, be outdoors winter camping again there are two trails one is called the Hupu Trail the other one is called the Ekniemi Trail the Hupu Trail is the shorter of the two but they both overlap so it's possible to do a shorter version or to do a longer version. The shorter version is something like two and a half kilometers. The longer is a little bit over five. So both trails allow you to visit the wind shelter, the lava, and the uh, wooden lookout tower. This area is a Gollio Mackie in Finnish. This means that the hill is formed of bedrock which comes right to the surface. As such, it's not maybe the best place to put a tent because you won't get your pegs in. It's better suited for a hammock. But uh, I thought for a change it would be nice maybe to sleep in the wind shelter instead. Just to prove the point that it's actually granite underfoot and not so much in the way of soil. Uh, makes me wonder though how on earth the pine trees can get purchased here and actually root themselves on a bare rock. It's a good thing that the path is marked but also that there have been enough visitors here which leave a fairly well-worn track and tells me where I'm supposed to go. Okay we're here at the top of the hill so there's the wind shelter and the wooden tower and I suppose this is a tree point from the top of the hill and uh, yeah it's a rather spectacular sunset happening at the moment. The sky is blood red Okay, and here in front of us is the wind shelter, which uh, is called Huipu, which means peak or top, as in the hilltop. And uh, yeah, has a fire pit, some benches around to sit, has got wood inside, and uh, yeah, it's fairly basic, but it, uh, it will do me very nicely for the night and keep the worst of the weather off. Okay, so I have my bed and my sleep system set up. I swept the floor first before I put down the uh, reflective mat, which you can just about see there underneath the, underneath everything. On top of that, I have a Thermarest Neo Air Xtherm, 6.9 R value. My main sleeping bag is a Rab Ascent 900. Covering everything then, I have an emergency first aid space blanket which is uh, basically nylon and has a reflective uh, inside so that might help to keep some heat in. You can just see it there. Inside the sleeping bag itself, I have yet another sleeping bag, a very light summer one. And there's also a uh, Sea to Summit Thermalite reactor as a, a further liner. It's probably overkill, but I've been cold so often using this Ravascent 900 that um, yeah, I'm not gonna take any chances tonight, even though the forecast isn't due to go below much below minus five it is quite windy tonight so there is definitely a chill factor but uh even though this lean to is quite drafty uh i should be okay although there are still some embers left in the fireplace from the last visitors here uh, i'm maybe thinking twice about lighting a fire tonight not least because uh, 
the wind that's whipping around the side of the lean-to shelter is really, really cold. And uh, so I'd be basically warm on the front but frozen on the back. So I think I might just uh, skip it and use my gas to heat up some water to cook with and uh, yeah, s rely on my sleeping system for warmth instead. Time for a nice cup of tea. Oh, Barry's tea, can't beat it. And today to go with our tea, we have the Nuffy protein bar and good old digestive biscuits. Can't go wrong. I just woke up, I had dozed off, and there were uh, at least two, if not three, mice right beside my bed looking for scraps that I'd left earlier on from uh, from dinner. So uh, yeah, that was a nice thought that there'd be mice running over me during the night. So I just uh, went now and took all my stuff and hung it, hung it up on the side of the uh, Lobo so that keep everything off the ground as much as possible, except me, of course. So, yes, hopefully, the little buggers won't uh, disturb me too much more now that everything's off the floor. And there's nothing for them to find. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna try and get some sleep again, so I shall see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning from Iekiniemi Green Shelter, Lavo. Sun has just risen. It's uh, quarter past nine in the morning, and uh, the place looks absolutely fabulous. So, this is the view from the top of the Arch Tower. You can see it's forest as far as I can see. And then in the distance there is the sea. All packed up and ready to go. Thank you to the great facility that is Ekniemi Nature Trail. And uh, yeah, it was a really nice visit. So I'll have to come back the next time and do the full five kilometer trail. 